Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. It's going to be a money and love reading. I just saw 555, five, 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 so that could be significant for you. Big major changes on the way. You know, ushering in change. Red coat came up. So I don't know, somebody got a red coat. Something about a red coat. It's like a, a younger person in a red coat. Or maybe you had a red coat when you were younger. I don't know. But red coat. Red coats. Um, I think, didn't they... That was the South, right? The red coats. I'm not sure. Don't get me lying on here. Anyhow, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Libra with a clear, concise message from you. Um, okay, red coat. Maybe you, you, you like red nails or you, you got red on your toenails or something like that. Let's see. What's going on for Libra and uh, money? Let's start with money. All right, so the King of Cups, good good card. Looks like you're focused on business matters. You know, maybe trying to bring in new business. This is a male Libra. Um, maybe you're trying to do something in the arts or you do something in the arts. You could be an artist or you could be, um, you wanna do something uh, like with fashion or design or, this is also, um, an, an actor, actress, something of that nature. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, Seven of Cups came out. So, the, it's, yeah, this could be an actor or an actress. You cast illusions. You make it seem as if, right? That's what actors do. Like you're that character. Um, there's a lot of wishful thinking in terms of your finances, but there's not enough action being taken. So you have all these different dreams, no action. It's just indulgence. Maybe you indulge, you get money and you buy. You buy something for yourself, you buy something for someone else, but you don't really put it towards maybe business matters. There's a lot of indulgence, um, overindulgence here also. Um, eat, drink, and be merry, you know, type of energy. Um, but then you think about your dreams and where you want to be, and that's all you do is think about them. Not enough action being taken. Scorpio energy, so you need to go through it some transformative change. We had 555 come up, so major change in your life. There could be a breach, or you need to breach something, you need to let go of something, or you need to get past it, or you need to break forward, or break to, or move forward. It's just like um, maybe a stuck, stuck emotion. Seven of Cups, you need to master your emotions, okay? You get into this emotional state, and then you do nothing. You get real high up, like, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna, and then nothing happens. And um, let's see. Well, this is what someone's doing around you, but this isn't your money. Um, you have four cups. You got a lot of cups. So it's a lot of inspired thoughts. It's a lot of inspiration, but there's no action. Um, I don't know if you let yourself get in front of you or you, you, you're stopping progression. There could be depression or meditating on what isn't happening, or what isn't, or what you don't have, or, yeah, let's see. Yeah, the six of wands, you need to bet on yourself, you need to take some action, and um, you need to meditate. You may be in your emotions a little bit too much in terms of your business. Um, I heard frantic. Six of Wands, so it's like, there was a time where you felt really good about maybe your business or business matters. This also could talk about help in business, assistance in business. I'm seeing that maybe it's coming from the universe or you get some inspired thought or inspiration, but it, it's gonna cause you to take action because the Wands are about action. You need to do something. You need to put yourself out there. You need to promote yourself. You need to post more. Um, this is also about fame too. You need to maintain it or maintaining your fame. You don't know if you want to be famous anymore. It's just an energy of, I don't know, and this is that, and what was me? And you know, you're kind of being tossed and thrown and that's kind of how emotions are. And this is coming up in your money. So you might not even be concerned about money as much right now um, as you're concerned about your emotional state, your emotional state of being. Let's see, nine of cups. Okay, so this could be somebody doing a lot of drinking. Somebody drinking a lot. 
Somebody's lonely, drinking a lot, going out. They want to do business or they want to do something or they want to change their life or they want to lose weight or they want to. It's just a lot of wants and, and no action. A lot of soaking, maybe in inaction. So when you don't do anything, you, you pick up the bottle. Um, you pick up the weed or you pick up, yes, yeah, seven of cups. This is hallucinogens or weed smoke or this is drink also. This is a strong drink with the nine of cups. Somebody wants to be out of their emotions or out of their mind. All because somebody can't get past the emotional state to actually take action on something. One more card for Libra in terms of their money. So the Knight of Pentacles. So you got money steadily coming in. It's slow and steady, right? Um, Queen of Pentacles. So it's a lot. The only way anybody could be this emotional when it comes up in money is because they're good emotion. They're good monetarily. Like they got some money saved or they have money coming in. Queen of Pentacles. So you, you found a level of stability. It's not like you're broke or you're poor or anything like that. Four of Wands. So it's like um, some of you are in the home alone or home alone or you want to come up. You work from home also. You find your money or your stability at home. Or you find yourself at home. Some of you want to transform something. And you want to come up with how to make passive income. That's what the Queen of Pentacles is about. Making money from home. Doing very little for it. Yep, with the Knight of Pentacles. You don't want to travel or do too much to make the money. You just want it to be slow and steady. But you have a lot of ideas of how to do this. But you're not actually taking any action here. Okay? It's inaction. It's inability to move. Um... Like you're in a stupor. Um, all right, let's see what love looks like. Oh, love is so much better. All right, love. Okay, so the Knight of Cups. So you may be dealing with somebody. This is a maybe Aquarius in love or Scorpio in love. Somebody who is a knight. They're under the, the direction of the Hierophant. So they're still being guided. You know, this is somebody who they like the newness of love they like meeting somebody new making them fall in love but the maintenance of love maintaining the love maintaining the relationship they have unrealistic expectations in love therefore this is you know somebody who gets hurt a lot or the love them and leave them or the this is the person who takes flight on to the next on to the new it could be you it could be somebody else somebody's just not able to maintain this or to go with the go the distance or See the distance here I am. Nine of Wands, can't make it up. Like just um, non-committal or if, if it gets too lovey-dovey, too emo, somebody wants to check out. Um, you could, yeah, something could be ending. The relationship could be ending. Um, it could be on the tail end of, you know, dispersing and turning into something else. Um, the Nine of Swords also. Uh, in love, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, we got a lot of energy where it's ending, or something is ending, or you know, it, you have to deal with it leaving. You know, somebody was keeping the relationship afloat, keeping it alive, but now, you know, it's like two people who didn't know how to maintain a relationship, and somebody is really feeling the divide or feeling that the end is near. For the relationship not knowing how to recover it or knowing that they should with the nine of wands looking backwards looking at the past or looking or fawning over an ex but not knowing if they should fight for it thinking about what they did or what they didn't do but not going back and making amends yeah um the ace of pentacles somebody so <sighs> several new starts in this relationship or several new starts um somebody wants to have a foundational new start the ace of pentacles somebody wants opportunity to start again do something right we're going to do something with stability and foundation and longevity and somebody may have popped the question but they had no intention of setting the date paying for the marriage you know just moving forward yep it was out of codependency, the devil card. It was out of desperation. It was out of fear. It was out of not knowing or not wanting to let something go or let somebody go. 
Page of Swords. It was out of, of immaturity, doing something too fast, needing to slow down. Somebody also could have popped the question or moved in together or something like that because there's a kid involved. Yeah, the mark, but somebody's mind is changing. Or somebody's changing or they want to change their destiny or the trajectory of the relationship. It could be a masculine energy. Wanting something to end. Yeah. Um, wanting to stay apart not come together may have even told somebody like we're going to come together we're going to do this and do that made promises somebody just don't they don't want what you want or there's you know inability to make it work somebody's in a somebody had to learn some lesson too or still is learning the lesson of how to be in a relationship. It could be a masculine energy. This is codependency. I need you to thrive, not to survive, but to thrive. So it was like somebody was coming up off of, you know, like I'm, I'm moving up in the world, being with you. What is the advice here for Libra? A definite yes. So what is the yes card? Eight of Cups. It's a Scorpio. Somebody's checked out or you need to check out or this is a cycle that's going nowhere. It's a high level of despondency, of, of um, cyclical energy, of um, riding that carousel to, to nowhere. Um, this is also finishing something up and then moving on. It's like somebody wants to leave a relationship, leave the marriage, leave something. It's on the, the tail end. It's fragile. It's fragility. It's toxic. It's karmic. It's codependency. It's we're staying together because of. You know, but somebody wants to finish up and move on. And this will be a moving on out of self-respect. This is what I have for you, Libra. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Down in the comment section, go over to the website, book your own reading there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel um, by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.